Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video, a little bit different than usual because we're talking about Generation 9. You're probably thinking, but Generation 8 has just come out, you know, don't even own the game yet. Well, you're right, but there was a few hints in the Pokemon Sword and Shield games that actually paved way for a new generation of Pokemon games set in India, thanks to two Pokemon in particular, uh, Koparajar and uh, Kufan. I don't know if I'm saying those right, but let's just hope I am. But there's a lot of different uh, things in the games which basically just relate to an Indian region. So that's what we're going to go over today. So if you're excited for the video, please do drop a like down below. Make sure to leave a comment as well. When do you think the next Pokemon games are going to be um, released? And also, where do you think they're going to take place? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this year channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. Before we begin though, do I just want to say a huge shout out to Miss Sarah being able to get me all of this information. She did a lot of the research for this video and came up with some really, really interesting things and definitely some compelling things as well to make us all believe that India will be the next region for Pokemon. So starting things off, um, one of the main things that basically just gives us the impression that the next region will be set in India is because of the whole curry situation. Now, curry is, of course, a huge dish in India, and it kind of it kind of came out of nowhere as well. Like, no one was really expecting curry to be in these games, um, but obviously it is a huge part of the game. There's even the curry decks, a load of different curries that we can make, and like I say, a very well-known dish in India. So that's just one of the first easy points to make for the next game to be in uh, India. Uh, the next thing, though, is that elephants are commonly known to be indian -themed Themed, especially when de decoratively dressed, uh, which is how Kufant and Koprajar are basically decorated. If you do take a look at their designs, you can clearly see they have been decorated. Um, and like I say, elephants are mainly decorated in Indian stuff, especially for weddings and, and everything like that. So it definitely has that going for uh, India being the next region. Uh, there's also uh, a common use of bronze or copper statues in Indian culture, which also nod towards the names Copper Ajar, being copper and Ajar, and then Kufan. And the Q, it, like the CU in Kufan, is actually the periodic table uh, for copper. So Q is copper. So clearly can just see that copper is uh, a, quite a no, like nodding theme going through both of these Pokemon. And again, a lot of statues in India are made from uh, bronze and copper. So again, Another reference to uh, an Indian region with these two Pokemon. Uh, the name Koparajar, I think I'm getting it wrong. I hope I'm not, but I think I am. Uh, the name Koparajar also is a play on copper combined with the word, I'm going to get this wrong, uh, Maharajar, which is an Indian king or prince. Again, so that could just simply be where that name comes from. But again, there are also hints towards um, India being the next region, or at least like some sort of Indian inspired region being where these two Pokemon come from. Uh, this says uh, there was a, a period in British history called the British Raj, uh, which also is in the Pokemon name, uh, Copper Raja. Uh, then it says this was a period between 1858 and 1947. Uh, where the British basically controlled India. Uh, there is also, and now this is the big one, this is where I do believe that a lot of people are expecting an Indian region next. It's all because of the Pokedex entries for um, Copper Rajah in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So it says, there is also the Sword Pokedex, which hints that this, uh, that this came from a far off land. And the Shield Pokedex, which states that they live in herds and their trunks can smash rocks. So the Sword one does say, They came over from another region long ago and worked together with humans. Their green skin is resistant to water. And then the Shield Pokedex says, These Pokemon live in... Um, live in herds. Uh, their trunks have incredible grip strength, strong enough to crush giant rocks into powder. So the sword one, definitely the one that we're taking a look at here because basically saying that it comes from a different region long ago. So as all, we've played all of the regions so far. There has been no big old elephants like Coprajar in those regions. The closest one being Donphan, but uh, they look very, very like different. Like they, they, it's not really like a Galarian form or anything like that. So as you can see, Koprajar does come from a different region. Now, this region could be the ninth generation region being set in India, and then that's where they could have come from. These Pokemon are clearly inspired by Indian themes and, and everything like that. So maybe they do come from a generation nine region of India. They came to Galar, um, especially with the whole like uh, British uh, Raj thing and everything like that. So that could be like a little... I don't know, inkling to those. So the British Raj could have actually happened in Pokemon. Uh, and obviously... 
Galar is set on Britain, so this is when these Pokemon could have come across during this time between 1858 and 1947, uh, when the Brit when Britain did control India, and they, that could be when they did send a, uh, over all the copper jars and the Cufants and stuff like that. Again, could just be thinking completely out of the box, but it has a little bit of uh, you know knowledge to it as well. It's not completely out of the blue. Um, so they're the Pokedex entries, two of the biggest things. There's still a few, a couple more things to go over too. Uh, so the trunk is shaped similar to a backhoe. I think I got this right, uh, which is used to dig up dirt. Uh, some elephants were used to assist in cultivation of soil. Uh, this is also hinted to in the Gigantamax Pokedex entry of Shield, which states that they could level mountains and change landscapes. The sword entry states that it can level buildings. So a lot of um, kind of it just, it just kind of makes sense like the whole cultivation of everything as well some elephants being able to do that and assisting it and everything like that and then these pokedex entries of the gigantamax forms basically saying that they can change landscapes and and help level buildings and stuff like that it definitely makes sense uh, there's also a news article uh, which i will link in the description down below of an elephant destroying buildings and cars uh, while it ran through the west uh bengal and now this is a uh the the, the article of it uh, chaos as wild elephant goes on shopping center rampage destroying cars and buildings uh this happened in 2016 so probably around the time when sword and shield was actually being worked on because sword and shield i do believe were being worked on for about three or four years obviously this is three or four years ago this happened so could definitely see that being a i don't know some sort of inspiration for these pokemon basically i'm not gonna read the whole article out like i said i'll leave it in the description down below wild elephant uh, spread panic when it went on a rampage in india's west bengal state uh, the beast tried to enter a shopping mall uh, today damaging over 40 houses and shops and trampling several vehicles uh, the animal went berserk before it was uh, tranquilized by the forest um, personnel so yeah this was just pictures of this elephant kind of just uh raising havoc and just kind of running through the shopping center so it could definitely be a, a nod to that with uh, the whole copper jar situation and then says um uh, this could be a reference for the deck century as well, similar to how Shiny Cramron was based on the seagull who fell in Curry uh, news story. If you don't know what that is, a lot of people don't know what it is. So basically, there was a seagull um, that fell into Curry, and then scientists found it, and they were like, oh my lord, that is a new type of bird, um, which is obviously not true. It was just a seagull covered in Curry. So obviously, the seagull looked like orange and everything like that, so they thought it was just like a new tropical bird. Um, but then obviously, a closer observation and stuff, they found out it was just Curry. But that is where Shiny Cramron actually comes from. So uh, Shiny Cramron is all like, orange and everything like that just simply because of that seagull story where it did fall in curry so don't know if you know about that quite an interesting story though um i, I found that out i found it's kind of funny as well like but it could just be again another reference to that could be you know more just kind of a, a, a re another reason why india could be uh, based on the next region uh, and then it says as for curry, uh, curry this is known at least in america to be a traditional indian dish uh, curry was introduced to the uk in the 17th century and i believe the most popular curry dish in the uk is the chicken tikka masala so again huge shout out to miss sarah she basically came up with all this information i uh, did a lot of research but there's some lot there's a lot of strong points in this kind of text which basically does um I don't know, just kind of give you the idea that India will be in the next region. I think it would be really cool to see India as another region. India is a huge place, and I think there could be a lot of um, different elements of India that they could easily put into a Pokemon game and really bring it to life. Like, they did a really good job with that, uh, with the UK theme, different, like, different things. Um, there's a lot of, like, British slang and everything, and I thought it was really, really cool. So I would love to see, like, an Indian uh, kind of base region. Again, I would love to see Australia and, and Italy and stuff like that, but there's definitely some hints here towards an Indian region. And again, I think the biggest one is the fact of, um, you know, the, the, the literal Pokedex entry for Copper Jar says it comes from a different region long ago. And it's not going to be Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, or Sinnoh, or anything like that, because we haven't seen anything about Copper Jar in any of those regions. Maybe if, in like, let's say you know it was like, oh yeah, an elephant used to live here, but then it went off to another region. Fair enough, but there is nothing about that. So it clearly has to be a region that we have not discovered yet, which again could be an Indian region. Both the names relating to like copper and stuff, which is very much used in Indian statues. There's just a lot of information there. So I personally am a little bit convinced. I think there definitely could be an Indian region next after Pokemon Sword and Shield. But again, uh, what do you guys think do you think it is a uh is, the, is doable i'm not sure sorry that i've been like rambling a little bit and uh, like, a couple of things i think haven't really made sense i'm not feeling super great today unfortunately um but hopefully i do get better right next to christmas unbelievable um but yeah i think there's a lot of information here which definitely does point towards an indian region but what do you guys think do you think it could be india or where would you like the next region to be i'd love to hear what you guys have to say uh, make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy today's video subscribe if you're brand new we do daily pokemon content on this channel and uh yeah make sure to ring that notification bell that's everything from me though guys thank you so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace